Mr. Wilford's order comes at a very high price. And I just know that something awful is coming. On Snowpiercer. 1,034 cars long. But I'll let you know here as we come up to where <coughs> the train start and you know the showrunners they wrote that the thousand trains is 10 miles long is what they did and uh, Snowpiercer while the premise is a little bit ludicrous I think it's a good show and uh, just last night's episode I started wondering Okay, if the train's 10 miles long, how do they get from one end to the, you know, from the engine room to the rear where the tailies live? And, uh, they showed last night that there's a little rail car, I guess, that runs underneath the bottom, so. I didn't know that before. Looking forward to uh, next I think they said next Friday, the 29th, whenever it's next Sunday, May, or next Saturday night, um, will be the season, the two hour season finale of Snowpiercer. And I'm looking forward to that. It'll be the end of season two. And. I won't spoil it by saying what happened in last night's episode. It came on after Abilene Christian beat Texas football. So that was 12.30 last night when I got done watching Snowpiercer. Almost 1 a.m. Okay, should be any second here now. Should I should start seeing the trains. There they are, on the right, at this intersection. This is where they start. It's Mark. I'll set the cruise control at... There we go. Cruise control set at 65. And uh, play a little music here as we're driving this, but you can see all the train cars here on the right. Oh, focus that. A little more that direction so you can see them. So that was a minute and a half here. They have a few different uh, types of train cars along here. You know, these are, see some flatbeds, some uh, oil cars. But it's just interesting that they're all parked here 
on this stretch of the highway. I can't imagine, okay, if you needed to get in and get a section of these trains, train cars, how much of an ordeal that would be, you know? So yeah, if you look at these rail cars and you look at how big the inside of the sets are uh, in the film location of Snowpiercer, you come to realize that it makes more sense that they are the uh, 85 foot long rail cars as these are either 55 or 68 feet in length. I suspect these are 55 so you know to get the vast interiors that they have you have to think that it's a 85 foot rail car and then at a thousand thirty four uh, cars long that ends up being you know over 16 miles of uh, train which is twice as long as this eight mile section of uh, rail cars along the side here of 270. And here we are, we are at the end of this eight mile track of train cars. Mark. So anyhow, this is a, I say, just a little bonus video, throw in one of my other interests, sci-fi. Uh, I just sat there and I thought, this would give people a really good indication of how long Snowpiercer really is. Um, and hope you enjoy the finale next week. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and... 
share this video with your friends and otherwise uh, we'll call it a day here as we're entering Red Oak, Oklahoma. Thank you.